hey guys welcome back to another video today i will be showing you what upgrades i have made so far to my robot car in the last few days let's get started firstly i made this moisture sensor that can detect that the ground is wet or not you can see i'm using a servo motor that pulls the sensor up and down using a lego technic system that i made uh, and it retracts and puts down on a press of the button on the other button you can see i have a rain sensor that that comes out using a servo motor and also retracts when it senses rain currently you can see i have an arduino nano which will change the next day so let's see it now as you can see i have made a big upgrade using esp32 i upgraded my car and it now has included bluetooth and wi-fi capabilities meaning i can connect it to anything bluetooth wise or the internet so i can probably make my site to control it next i upgraded this display for the esp32 cam i put a battery on it a small 500 milliamp hour battery and a 2 amp charger board which also boosts the voltage to 5 volts so i added a switch and you can turn it off or on i am demonstrating you to see how it actually works the esp cam still doesn't have a battery but that will be added and as you can see the battery holds good it supports good current and the display runs with the live feed without any problem you can see the video there you can see the car and now I'm showing you the controller, or at least that version of it. See a future video that will be up shortly. You can see the display itself being filmed. The only thing is you need to firstly turn on the display and then the camera. So it shows the, shows the video feed and the camera actually connects to the ESP32 on the display. But other than that, this is it for this upgrade. As you can see, I can also charge the battery, I can turn it off, and that's it. The next upgrade I made, as you can see, is adding a better motor controller, so L298N, and I added this because I wanted to control the speed of the motors, so in the current video I actually just added the controller and I was testing it out, and now I'm going to be adding the wires for the speed controls so we have two controls for one motor and the other i have two motors controlled by one side and two by the other so because i want them to have the same speed i will just connect the two wires from the board onto a one wire that will go to the esp32 and you can see the two wires i'm holding here those are going to go on a mini proto board board because i want them to not take up as many pins on an esp32 because i actually need them for my future upgrades so here they are they are put on the prototype board and i'm just adding a single connector that will connect between the two pins and the esp32 which i'm going to plug in into a pm pwm pin and the thing is every pin on the esp32 is pwm capable so it doesn't matter in which i put it in i just need to program it that way and talking about the code there are lines of code specifically designed for analog writing which are on arduino there are others like let's see write for the esp32 but i didn't actually succeed in making it with those lines so i just used analog write and here you can see I'm changing the speed with the, the red button. And as you can see, we have three modes. So we have low, medium and high. And we, are, we have set the speeds in the code from 1 to 255. So changing it, we are changing the speed of the wheel rotation. So that's it for this upgrade. You can see I have placed it up so it doesn't actually move and I can see I can show you just the wheels spinning 
and that's it here i'm just showing you the last upgrades i made so i actually placed the esp32 cam and connected it so i have pogo pins two lines of four pogo pins that connect to the servo motors and to the camera and when we place it it automatically connects the voltage and the signals so that's it for this video stay tuned for more future upgrades on the robotic car maybe even the competition that i am going to take it on and i'll see you guys in the next video bye